Shall we play a game? Uh, you guys can decide. You've got probably a day on the boat to get to the mainland. Um, so you can... But we're all from this island. Yes. It's. I mean, it's not a huge island, but it's it's big enough that you guys wouldn't have to know each other if you didn't want to. We're taking this boat. I'm from here. I, I don't really want to be from here. Can I talk to you? <laughs> Do I have to be from here? I don't want to come back here. No. <laughs> We're getting this, I'm taking this boat and we're leaving. Yeah, you're taking the boat and you're leaving to go to the mainland, but we're not. This isn't our job to go back and forth? No. Okay. Ooh, I'm, I'm glad you're out of there. Oh, um, so we're all on this boat. Mm -hmm. you're, all, you're all going to the mainland to become adventurers and make a name for yourself. Well, what happened? Well, look at me. I'm emaciated. They've tortured me. Forced me to do unthinkable things. I'm never setting foot on that island again. And if I do, there'll be hell to pay. Oh my. It seems like a bad place to me. <laughs> <laughs> they just ran out of stuff to do. It kind of got boring for me. Well, yeah, I just came over with a, a group of uh, mercenaries and just kind of wandering around. I'm a uh, warfare. Well, well, Matt, I am Ostis. And you look like a. You look like. Oh, I'm a half elf male. What What's your name? name? Chain male. Chain shirt. One of the chain shirt. What's your name? Warfare. Nice to meet you. I am Kenrick. I am wearing some scale mail. I'm a halfling. Halfling. So what's the difference between a halfling and a gnome? Well, we don't live underground all the time. Just part of time? If we want to, we're going to go wherever we feel like. So you're related yeah. to dwarves, eh? We're or? a lot more free spirited than the gnome. No, we're not related to dwarves. Oh, yeah, you just... They're too grumpy. Oh. Well met, Kenrick. So you're just traveling? Yeah, I'm just... like Get out and about a bit. Yeah, me too. I like seeing seeing the world. Yeah. How like to get away too. How to get away from home. A little too stuffy around all the elves. I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. Me neither. Looking for work where I find it. Ready to get off that island. See the wide open spaces of the world. We have that in common, sir. Getting off that island. What's your name? That everybody calls me Woody. To infinity and beyond. Different Woody? Not Woodpecker. Oh. Okay, off in the distance. So is, are you male or female? I'm a male. Okay. I'm pretty small and dainty. I've been tortured and not treating well, and I'm light, lost a lot of weight. I'm not healthy. I'm not in a healthy condition. I've been identified as having the force within me and was taken away from my people, and they tried to force me to become something I didn't want to be. And I, know, I traded my health to not become what they wanted me to become. Well, everybody should strive to be who they want to be. That's why I'm off this island. You showing any holy symbols? I'm, uh, far. What's his? Farlang. Far, farlang. And you're an Farlang. And you're an elf or half elf? Half elf. Oh, okay. We got a secret door finder. Had to get away from <laughs> me. Had to get away from home. Grow up too fast for them. So did you grow up on the human side or the elf side? Well, I grew up with the elves, and you know, some people lack the ability to laugh at themselves. That's where I come from. 
<laughs> you like the bill laughing yourself? I like laughing at yourself. I don't laugh at myself, too. Off in the distance, you can see some cliffs and a uh, ravine with the uh, water running down it. That seems to be where the boat is headed to. It seemed like a safe ravine. Yeah. Oh, well, we made it in the ravine. See if you watch this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right here. Okay. Deeper water. It's deeper water, apparently. It's a different color. Uh, the river coming pulling at you. Uh, yeah, don't look at the map too close. I think I like the idea if we just tape together a whole bunch of maps instead. I don't get better. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Sure. Look, look, a little late for that. Mm-hmm. Still flowing up in there. The wind's pushing you up inland. Are there other people on the boat with us? The boat crew and maybe one or two others. Not a lot of people. <laughs> Captain saying, and up on your right, you can see the mill. Mm-hmm. Don't work on there. No, I can't. <laughs> well, you can see the, the the water wheel for the mill. How's that? There you go. Okay, and then you pull up here to the dock. Mm-hmm. Oh, fit. Don't call it any. Get a fit. <laughs> There's a big bridge in front of us. Yep. You guys can start to disembark. I'm going to have to use my little miniature to, to wander you guys through the town. You guys don't mind if I... Uh, Kind of tag along with you here. I, uh, I'm not gonna be able to take care of myself for a while. Sure, come along. Yeah. Well, I'm tired of guarding the cabin, out. so I'm ready to do something else besides being a guard for cavern. Cabin. Cabin. Caravan. Caravan. There's <laughs> <one>. Cabin. <laughs> cabinets. Carver. Sometimes I always don't say what I mean. My intelligence. Yeah, so. What are you carrying for a weapon? What's this one? I am carrying a spiked chain. Ooh, nice and fun. Kevin, Katie, what are you carrying for work? Light mace. A light mace. What heavy one? You can even carry it. <laughs> that spike chain. That looks like a death sentence to me. You don't have to swing it. You just tell me to carry it. <laughs> yeah, I'm carrying it. Uh, you can raise 15 pounds. More than I can handle. Here's to be a two handed weapon. Well, let's go into town. See what's what's up. Last time I was here. Oh, you've been here before? I don't think I've ever been here. I've been here. No. no town well, I don't think I've been here. Do you hallucinate a lot? Or do you I don't want to break it. Here, remember? My first time across this pond here. Yeah. I've yeah, been over here to the main lane. I grew up over here. Didn't you? Okay, you as you walk across, you go up the slope to the bridge, and then you can see the town. You can go either side. What do we know about this area? Is there is there a kingdom here? A um, kingdom, kingdom, a big town, a little town? This is this isn't a big town. Uh, this the name of this town is Zelcor's Ferry. Zelcor was a powerful mage. Used to be used to come from this area. Is there any law enforcement here? I've never been here. <laughs> What did he say? What did I say? I was thinking this was named after a powerful maid. This town? Yeah, this town. Zelcor was his name. Yep. And this, this town is Zelcor's Henry, ferry. The uh, less people I interact out interact with will come a lot of It's it's daylight. I could probably shut off the fog of war, couldn't I? It was a new thing. Well, if there's something you don't want us to see, no, that's okay. All, that's, all, that's all hidden. That's all. Don't look at that. No, mind the guy behind the curtain. <laughs> a spike chain weighs ten pounds. If you guys don't mind, I'm just gonna find a pure hamburger that bite to eat. Quiet corner to sit in it. Yeah, that was fun to sit in and get to know the area, listening in the people. How, how long did it take us to get over here? On the boat, I'll say a day. All right, now piercing. Is there? I'm going to ask the captain, like, if this is a regular ferry, like the once a day, every every day. There's a yeah, uh, every couple of days. It isn't a everyday thing. Dep- it depends on the wind and whatnot. So I wouldn't mind being here for a day or two, but uh, for this next 
ferry comes across. I, I, I'd like to not be here. Are you afraid somebody might be following you? Um, I don't know. I don't know how long it take till they miss me. They may not miss me at all, but I don't think they're going to be happy if they know I'm not there. So are you on the run, I think it? I don't know. <laughs> I... Can you fill us in a little more? Well, I was, I was taken captive. My I forced to study magic. And I'm kind of cunning. I left without them knowing. Well, I've heard of them. Spellcasters, you know, magic teleporting. Is that what you did? You teleported? I've been identified with having some ability, but it's not that advanced. Oh, okay. And it's not something I'm really interested in. You don't want to cultivate that? Not particularly. I've seen them. <laughs> <laughs> so I heard a lightsaber earlier. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, that was my sorry. That was my email. Well, let's head to the Nerdo greeting establishment. If you guys are intending to stick around here, I'm probably going to go my own way. But if you guys are moving on, well, I'd like to move on with you. Probably ought to find some work or something. See what. Yeah, I think we'll go to the Nerdo Inn and look at the end and the treasure one and board for safe. Just going to tell you, I don't. I I would prefer we did something that didn't involve staying close to this. Well, do you know the area? Where could we go from here? I don't know any. I've never been off the island. Well, let's go get a bite to eat and see we'll find out. No, I don't want to go back. So is it, it's uh, what time of day did you say? Or did you say? I didn't say, but we'll, we'll, we'll just say in the morning. Uh, we'll say three in the afternoon. Human bail. The, well, I don't mind uh, sleeping under the stars if we don't want to stay in town. Uh, if, if worse come to worse, I would not be opposed to a disguise of some sort. What rates would you wear? I would wear a dress and I could get away with it. Uh, if you look at the screen, see the, the flashing thing? Yeah, it was cute and great. Then I know that looks like an end. Yeah. It, 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 it. <laughs> the blue circle? Yeah. That's how it was when you Is that the end? Yeah. Okay. Well, it helps them all together, so some like one of us sees it, they can point it out. Can I go to the next my spell list? It might by the end of the day, and. Yeah. Let's hold. I got seven hit points to spend. Where can I go? You guys gonna make your way towards the end? I think so. I'm a natural born leader, but I typically lead from the back. As, as you go by, that would be great if you could lead us to the end. I'm not a big leader either. I can go in the end. I'm not worried. As, as you go by this building, that's currently flashing. We're gonna follow your lead, then, sir. Take us to the end. Yeah, I'll go to the end, sir. Sir, can you mail over? Yeah, all mail, mail here. Think so. All mails. All mails. No, no, there's not a Home Depot here. Oh, no, no, no Home Depot. Depot. You picked the wrong race. Damn it. <laughs> you pick, pick a couple gnome. Is okay. that the name of the? That's, that's the no. That's the name. You that's the name of the building that you're walking past. You can what? Weld it. You can do it. We can help. No, we can do it. You can help. <laughs> so it's like a, a hardware store. We can do it. You can help instead of you can do it. We can help. Um, that's the building on the south. Does it look kind of like a hardware store or something? Yeah, it looks like a trader place, maybe. Hardware trader? Yeah. Ran by gnomes, I'm assuming. Yeah. You can assume. You don't have them to assume, though. Okay, and as you're going by here, on your way up to it, on the the building to the south there, mm -hmm. looks like a blackjack place. Blackjack. Blackjack. <laughs> blackjack. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm going in. <laughs> I got pretty good sleight of hand. Let's see what we can get. And then, of course, the, then you're going to the inn. Sam, I can't. Sam and Ella. Sam and Ella Tavern. I'm not very good at reading upside down. I mean, your thing is pretty good reading. <laughs> I see a chicken. I got it. Okay, so I need a freezier screen. This is the tavern. All right. You come in down there. Yeah, you come in down here at the double door. There's a few people here then. Yeah, there's some villagers and the. Uh, the white icons are the waitresses. We don't see anybody dressed up in armor or anything. What's that? We don't see any people dressed up as armor. No. Or no. And we haven't seen any guards around anywhere or watchmen or anything. Uh, no. You may have seen some on the walls um, above the river, but it's probably not. It would have been pretty faint. 
up and they're on top of the walls. So you can watch me up there to the guard or something. Yeah. Yeah, put on direct some icons on this for you guys. Isn't it? You know what I said earlier about being able not being able to carry my starting gold? I may have been wrong. <laughs> oh yeah, you don't get my thing over here. Five gold I'm starting with five gold pieces. <laughs> yeah. You don't get my you don't need one. Four. Flying around for anybody. Well, Reese, that's you. What? Three D four gold. This one. That one, okay. Barry, this one's you. I can't even see this. That one. Okay, you have five on the fire Are we ever going to set stuff on the no. screen? No, I don't have that. Yeah, we ought to. I mean, it wouldn't. It'd be better. Oh, put it on the wall, you mean? Yeah. I'm going to set something on the. And there yeah, you have that HDMI? More. Yes. Just plug it into mine. That's you, Kenroy. What the hell is that? <laughs> it's a priest. <laughs> That's you, Topher. You guys can find an icon that you want to use for you to tell here. A token. Okay, so you all come in. What program are you using for this? Ark and Forge. Well, I'm going to walk up to the bar. There's the dynamic lighting bartender up there. What's that? There's a the dynamic lighting per token, right? Yes. Uh, just remember, let's keep a low profile. You're going up to the bar? Yeah. I'll go up there with him. I'll grab us a table. I'll go with him. How, how, table. how much is a beer? Beer? No, no, it's not free. Four girls. Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Dime girls. I remember nothing. Victoria State had dime draws. Really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, four copper for a mug of ale. <laughs> well, we'll take four mugs in. Thank you. What are you guys want? <laughs> <laughs> this guy will get up and go sit over here if you guys want that back bench. That back oh, the corner. What's happening in town? So. Reese and I are over there. Yeah. So 16 copper. Uh, oh, you're talking to the waitress? You're talking to Mark. Oh, you're, up, you're over here. Sorry, I was talking to the wrong person. Oh, not much. It's just kind of a normal day here. Kind of quiet. She's getting you guys some ales. No excitement around here, huh? Uh, there's there's a little excitement around here, yeah. There's a, there's a large dungeon way north of town. Um, Do we look like we'd be interested in a dungeon? <laughs> well, you said you're asking for excitement. Well, all right. what, what about this dungeon? Um, I, I just know there's a large dungeon. There's, uh, I mean, there's some other people in town who know more about it than I do, but nobody in the inn right now. You put us in their direction? Where are you at? I'm at the bar. Or no, I'm at, never mind, I'm at the table. <laughs> Oh, well, like a day travel from here or two days? Way out in the wilderness. This town was actually named after one of the mages that fought against the evil. Of the... Of the dungeon, yes. Of this complex. Yes. Oh. Oh, he's calling it a dungeon. I just... A uh, dungeon, yeah. <laughs> Girlfriend's place is over here. <laughs> um, Sounds like an underground complex. Yes, that's just that's from the rumors that I've heard. I you know, like I, I don't go out there. Is it like a tomb or? I, I just know there's a dungeon out there, and this uh, it was evil. Yes, and Zelcor, fighting Zelcor, whatever. What evil, huh? Yes, Zelcor still around? No, that's too bad. I hate to have somebody like that around. <laughs> <laughs> he never returned. Oh, we he never returned. Oh, well. <laughs> so, was this Zelcor famous? Like, young wizard? Mm, probably middle aged, I think. Ooh, wizards tend to be one or more. Yeah. Maybe we ought to find something else going on. Any less exciting things? <laughs> <laughs> <There's a camera laughs> 
They're gonna run the jam rabbit. But got one. Just one. We have three. Looks like I'm in the South Park. South Park. I see the boars. I see the boars. You're killing all the cows around in the pasture. <laughs> Uh, you guys look pretty capable. I think you can take it. <laughs> Famous last word. <laughs> Are you the only one? What? How long ago did he disappear? He needed his rescue mission. Uh, uh, it's been all along. Like years? Like, like, like decades. Yeah. Is there anybody else around that might know more info? The local historian? Um, probably the head of the guardhouse would be someone that would know a lot more about it than I do. I'm back. I'm not sitting there. I'm just making jokes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, we'll go over here. I'm getting a little hungry. What do you got picking tonight or this afternoon? Uh, well, what would you like? Uh, I'm fine, I think I'm going to have some spaghetti. Yeah, chicken. One part of a prairie chicken pie. <laughs> yeah, it's probably. Probably real close to supper time, yeah, but we'll just say that. Yeah, I'll take it. You recommend the chicken? Yes, that's our specialty. Mm-hmm. Sam and Ella's Tavern. Yeah, yeah, Sam and Ella's Tavern. I'll tell you what. Sam's the cook. I'm Ella. I'm Ella! <laughs> Boy, I hope they bring me back anything but chicken. <laughs> I just keep seeing that. I think they're drinking our beer right now. <laughs> bring, me a, bring me some chicken when you get a chance and maybe do it. Guys, who fellas over there at that table would like something. Head over there. Yeah, well, yeah. The, one of the waitresses over there. So um, just tell her what you want. Anything but the chicken. Okay, the chicken. How much is chicken? Uh, it doesn't matter. The meal, whatever. You can get a, a decent meal for five silver. Oh, wait a minute. I'm looking at the wrong one. Sorry. Ten percent. Sorry. Uh, three silver. Eight percent of my favorite. And you're saying we have this spare change on us? Yeah. We're going to take off right. I'm assuming you guys are going back to the table as well? Yeah. All the way to Hey, sweetheart. This is Woody the Powerful, a great fighter of renown. He's a bit under the weather, all type of the plague. They recommend the chicken, Woody. Anything. <laughs> Red beef. That's not chicken, it's good. Beef it is. Mm. Chicken? I'm not calling you a chicken. I'm asking you if you want chicken. <laughs> a half serving would be plenty. Oh, come on. You gotta get back in shape. <laughs> the system would most likely. Plus, it would save me some expense. Half order of beef, please. Yeah. I'll take some. We heard about whatever beef is. Where are, we? Oh. are you interested in a dungeon adventure? I'm always interested. This Zelkor guy, you've heard of him, right? <laughs> I know him. He yeah. went there and didn't return. <laughs> so I think it. How far away is it? A week's travel, he said. I'm in. That sounds like fun. Yeah. I'm curious. Great challenge, low <laughs> possibility of success. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> there's, not, there's not going to be anything between us and the dungeon. Uh, sure, we'll be up by fifth level before we get there. <laughs> um, well, what time of day is it? Supper time. Five o'clock. No, oh, well, I was do my motto. Sleep here, go outside, and sleep. I wouldn't mind one night in a nice place for a week on the road, at least. Good for spending the night here. Point off to me. Any place is better than where I've been, and we're going to be out in the wilderness for a while. A fireplace and a pillow might be handy. How much does a night stay? You have a common room, five silver pieces. Mm-hmm. Oh, pizza? We'll be broke for you at the end. Oh, this is this is covered already. You guys, I told you about that. I'm still I'm very conscious. Of it. 
Very conscious of his money. Black up. Mm-hmm. I saw his cash flow sheet. It didn't look very good. All flow and no cut. So, what's uh, what's going on in here? In the end? Why are there so many waitresses? Well, you know, there's... The, yeah, there probably would have been... There'd have been some, you know, happy hour before you guys arrived. So, yeah, some of the waitresses probably... Happy hours, too. Well, yeah, you know, they're, they're farmers. That's all I want to do. Hey, now. <laughs> yeah, we'll go and get rid of a couple of the waitresses. I know we're making you guys nervous. And as you're as you're eating, some of the patrons would be leaving as well. See anybody going upstairs? Coming down from upstairs? No. Is it, I, I'm assuming this is a kitchen back here. Yes. And you can't see in there. Yes. Well, you can, but I'm locked. So yeah. So where's it going? Upstairs. Well, yeah, door I never, I never thought about that. I never thought about that. It probably ought to have been a bathroom on your hot floor. <laughs> Do- well, if you got a pee, you have to you just go outside. What, what about the sound of milk? It's going to be hard to do it instead. It's Sam and the end of You just piss out the window on the second that. floor in the end, or what? No, there's there's toilets upstairs. Oh, well. Well, that's quite a pl- Is there an indoor plumbing? Well, that's pretty fancy. So we get, do we get a room or a common room? or? Uh, yeah, you can get rooms. Well, it's kind of Henry, shall we go check? Uh, we'll probably talk to the guard. Yeah, before we go to bed, we'll go talk to the guard and just get a little more information about this dungeon. Hostess, you coming? Yeah, I can. But I suggest we you want to all grow the group or. Okay, hold on a minute. I think we'll change on why. So we'll walk around as a group if we want to low profile. So you guys secure the room. I did maybe do a little tidying and cleaning up and taking the little little people first while you guys are out. All right. So you're playing a guy. I mean, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, we go. Okay. Talk to a guard then. Yeah. yeah, we get the room. Okay. We're going to leave Woody in the room. Okay. To his own devices and go see if we can find the uh, captain of the guard. So is this, this recording going online? Yes. Are you introducing our personal names? Uh, I wouldn't plan on it, but I am just going to put it in the credits, but okay. I'm right. Jamie Roth. <laughs> <laughs> Great boy. <laughs> Keith Chaplin used to use Greg Moore as his alias everywhere he went. <laughs> so, they gave you directions to get to the guardhouse. So you go across the bridge, over the bridge, and you see a large mage tower, north side. It looks like it's a, it's a, it's a, is this the mage tower? In use. In use? Yes. This is, it, this is the mage tower, or that's the mage tower? They'll give you a little heebie-jeebies there, would you? Right there. Not oh, that's right. Yeah, this is the exactly. mage tower. Yep. Well, oh, that's a skill. Uh, that was cool. Okay. okay, and then we got a fountain over there. Yeah, you go by the fountain, and then that's a town square. Yeah, oh, that's nice bizarre. How bizarre. Stuff that's waiting in there. Yeah. And then uh, the big building. What is this? The big building. The big building up here. Yeah. That's the church. You can tell. Church of Far Langen. Uh, Cooper, this is or that is? No, this one. Okay, it's north. Yes. Yeah. This this is, is the tag tagged right down here. That's up. You can take it up there and down there. Oh, yeah. That's his top and bottom. And this one down here is the city watch. Down here. This one's down mm-hmm. here. It's hard to pick up on it. City watch in there, huh? That's a monster building. That's only part of the building. <laughs> well, that's good if there's any law enforcement here. <laughs> Looks like there's a lot of them. All right, we're going to go, go in the watch building. I got a Woody. Back at the end. <laughs> we're just asking for a friend. <laughs> I didn't say that was my name. <laughs> okay, we'll go look for somebody in charge in here. And 
Okay. Is it like door open? I mean, like, is there a guard outside? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to disable the fog so you guys can see the whole building. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, okay. <laughs> so you'll you'll come in the front gate here. Oh, the gate. Oh, there's a gate. Oh, this is a comfortable gate. Hmm. And I, do, I don't have the icons in here. I screwed that up too. Um, but there'll be some there there'll be some guys. Uh, these are archery targets here. So there'll be some guys shooting bows. You need to do to something from. different with your cursor. So we yeah, you need to make it like a bright red or something. Um, blue just kind of blends in. make it bigger for you. <laughs> Where's that better? That's probably the red. Red one's my okay. name. Whatever it was. Yeah. yeah. Purplish pink or something. So there's a well here. Um, like I said, there's archer targets here, so those guys shooting bows. Um, and you can see there's a there's a bigger looking fighter that's kind of standing around talking, uh, kind of directing and giving pointers, whatever. And like I said, I forgot to put the, his uh, his token on the map. So we'll go over and talk to him. Then. Okay. Well met, sir. Well met. So I have Austin here to show you how. <laughs> Well, we'll, uh, we will the we will. I will the spike chain. Well, the spike chain kind of unusual. Feel like seeing an action. Looks wrong. Just kidding. Looks like you're on a well oiled machine here. Oh, well, we try to. We uh, we get the occasional orc attack. Nothing Ooh, major. Orcs. <laughs> what about goblins? You see any goblins? Oh, there's goblins in the in the hills, but that's mainly where the orcs are too. But yeah. They don't. They don't attack the city very often. Mm. We heard about a complex about a week away from here. Complex Plexcon. Yes, what is complex? Is it October? Yeah, I do. You do? Yeah. <laughs> what was that? With the shield, we had groups of like four desks, and we called ours Complex Plexcon, didn't we? <laughs> is that what is that how? <laughs> We were just wondering if you knew any more information about this complex about what's going on. Yes. Everyone's complex con? <laughs> Good name. I think I'd go with that. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, I do. Many hundreds of years ago, the forces of good allied to destroy the main temple of Orcus in the ancient city of Sar. <laughs> Boy, you write this all down? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the forces of good. There's a temple. City of CZR. TSAR. In the Russian. With their temple in ruins, the surviving high priests of this accursed demon god fled the city with an army of enemies on their trail. An army of heroic fighters, clerics, and paladins, led by Zelkor, a powerful wizard. The exact fate of these evil priests was then unknown, for not only did the remnants of the followers of Orcus disappear from all human reckoning, but so did the army of light that followed after them disappear as well. Some said that in the eternal scales, the loss of so many good men was a fair price to pay to rid the world of so much evil. The evil cult, however, had not been destroyed. The surviving priests and their followers instead settled on a hill near the Forest of Hope, a sylvan woodland near the coast road. There they found a vast underground complex of caverns and mazes carved out of a volcanic intrusion beneath the hill. There the priests of Orcus found the perfect lair to continue their vile rituals. For many years they carried on in secret, hidden from the light and from the knowledge of men. Many years later, their underground delving completed, the evil priests erected a hideous mausoleum and a sunken graveyard atop the hill. It is believed that these graves are, in fact, the final resting place of the pursuing army of heroes that had been destroyed to a man. Soon after the mausoleum was erected, the peaceful creatures of the wood began to disappear. Though many rangers and druids investigated these happenings, the cause of the creature's disappearance was not immediately determined. Some years later, a powerful group of adventurers, led by Beaufred, a high priest of St. Cuthbert, that's his temple across the way. It was erected in his honor. Investigated the evil happenings and found the sunken graveyard leading to a labyrinthine complex. Beaufort and his companions found great hordes of evil creatures in the complex. 
Though some of his companions returned from their expedition, telling tales of fantastic treasure and ferocious monsters, Beaufort was never seen again, lost in the catacombs beneath the cursed mausoleum. For the last 100 years, ranks of adventurers swarmed to the newfound dungeon. Many fell prey to bandits and monsters in the surrounding wilderness. Of those who survived to reach the mausoleum and the sunken graveyard, rumors suggest that most were slain by guardians of green stone before they even entered the dungeon or perished on the very first level. Those rare few who returned from deeper treks speak of horrible undead and creatures that cannot be slain. All who have explored Rap and Athic offer this one universal piece of advice. Don't go down the well. We might all get that part. Don't go down the well. he pull out a book and read this to us? No, he had a memory. Oh, okay. he, he gives a speech fairly often. But he, everybody comes in the teleprompter. It's like, <laughs> it's like a rotating door of interest coming yeah, in. Yeah. And yeah, but I, uh, if I remember right, there was a there was a foretelling of a group of adventurers. <laughs> okay, well, thank you, sir. Well, it's supposed to be four of us, though. <laughs> One of us is really shy. So we find out we need to know part of it. There could be some bandits in between here and there, or some orcs in between here and there. What are the guardians yeah, of you know, like a PP with like three goblins in it? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what the guardians of Greenstone you're the story of are? I've never been out there myself. Because that's, I mean, I feel like that's what we're running into first. That's before you even get into the complex. Party the green I mean, stone. I mean, that's just that's just the walking apart from where you get to the green Maybe before you get the to the <laughs> goblins are guarding the green stone. I don't think it was a uh, Elmer Lee. They will have a week's worth of goblins. It can happen in a week. <laughs> we won't see the world. That <laughs> might wait a while. A whole army, you know. Yeah, it doesn't sound like there's been a lot of success. <laughs> well, I like Rip Gimli and all, but I don't share his philosophy. <laughs> There are sheriff patrols that wander the the road, the coast road. So we would head along the coast. And there's a road the just, forest of hope. Yes. Is there any towns or villages along the way? This is the last one before you get to this complex. And we got, but there are bandits and monsters. So would you get an extra bag of whole thing? Thank you. Uh, hmm. Well, we're looking for adventure. <laughs> you think about you, head, heading out on the highway. You, you don't uh, you don't sound real confident about that. <laughs> this thing, uh would you uh, when was the last time a group of adventures headed that way? Uh I haven't seen anyone come through in a couple weeks. A couple of weeks. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so a couple weeks ago, somebody headed out that way. A yeah. group? Yes. Maybe we'll see if they come back. <laughs> <laughs> Will they look more prepared than us? Yeah. I think. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me give you some advice, James. <laughs> I'm going to need to pick this. Pick a. We're in sales. <laughs> you are not selling them. <laughs> Worth a shit. <laughs> this is almost worse than a uh, Medusa out of the <laughs> Not saying you go down to the bottom level. Or... <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, you know. You would still like to get the train wheels on for a little bit. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and roll up my weird characters. A lot can happen in a week. So you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> we didn't start halfway to level two. We're halfway to level two already. Yeah. Oh, hey, we're not we'll be by the time we get there, no doubt. Am I? Twice what we are right now. We're pre-trained. Twice we're pre-trained. Well, pre I guess you sold a better than I thought. No. <laughs> Oh, hold on, hold on, I gotta reel this in. Get ready to set the In the last year, there's been several groups come through every few weeks or every month. Yeah, probably. You've heard about the place. Good folks, right? 
Yes. Well, as near as I can tell. And do you have any of them came back? Yes. There are towns further north. But we're going which way? You're going north. But there's towns on the other side of Rappanathic. They're further away than... But we have to go to a week just to get to Rappanathic. Yeah. And beyond Rappanathic, how far to the next town? Um, I would say probably two weeks. Is Rappanathic it's up in the mountains. How do you spell Rappanathic? R-A-P-P-A-N. A T H U K. It's easier to spell than the Quaddle's name. And this is all something you got off the internet. It's like a module. I got them. Yes. I did read it. Eight, ten years ago. I didn't read the whole thing. It was at the start. And it was like, shit. It's tough. Why in Kenya? <laughs> you need to walk in the park. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I just want four of them. Is there anybody else interested that you've heard of? I know this barbarian named Zane. <laughs> <laughs> Bjorn is sounds like a <laughs> companion. Yeah, because yeah, we're just four and we don't have extra pets and shit this time either. So is this like the Forgotten Realms or the No, no it's the it's it's a yeah, yeah. so it's definitely yeah. Well I'm curious. You picked mine up One sucker. I've got I've got a lollipop in my pocket. Well, I'm, I'm part of the lollipop bill. Look how big I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I got we can go do some ring gong, see what it's about. Mm. Well, maybe. Thank you for the info. Are you where would a guy go to see about a mule? <laughs> uh, there's a stable right next to the inn. Okay. Harley David and Son. <laughs> Son stable. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's more horsepower there than you're going to find anywhere else in the area. Who mm -hmm. would suggest renting the bike? <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Just a $5 rental fee if you get empty in a crash. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess we'll head back to the end then. I need to take out some I wine. I'm serious. I'm looking to do a mule. I am serious. How much is well, it? Well, we, we, we could do the mule in the morning before we do it. We can do it now. Okay. So pick it up on me. Right? <laughs> so, yeah, I'll talk to go to the stable and see if the mule tenders. What's a mule or a donkey going to cost us? Donkey's gonna be cheaper than me. You can get a donkey or mule for eight gold pieces. You can get a pony for thirty. Which is better, a donkey or mule? <laughs> well, that's a good question. Mules can't read a mule. Well, mules. Mules have a string of forks and a donkey. Yep. Yeah, they're yeah. They're all, well, I don't think we're gonna worry about breeding it. It's going to be cannon slaughter for the dragon. We I guess it depends on what their are their carrier patties the same. It doesn't say it does an adventure. Shit. That'd be if they're the same price, their carrier capacity would be Mount the key. Donkey, 50 pounds. Mm -hmm. Only carry 50 pounds, then you start slowing them down. They're willing to go into a dungeon, unlike a horse. Does it say that? That's how we would add it on page 131. What's it say on 131? A donkey will go in? A donkey or a mule is willing to go into a dungeon, unlike a horse. The best kind of pack animal around. Donkeys and mules are solid in the face. Stolid, sorry. Stolid in the face of danger. Hardy, sure footed, and capable of carrying heavy loads over the vast distances. Unlike a horse, a donkey or mule is willing, although not eager, to enter a dungeon and other strange or threatening places. So, uh, See the monster manual for more information. Both on whole meals. Carry 50 pounds. It's got to carry more than 50 pounds. You put a person on it. A person weighs more than 50 pounds. I'm counting tag. Well, no, it slows it down. A meal can carry up to 690 pounds. You're a human that can squat 690 pounds. Yeah, but he can't carry it all day. <laughs> yeah, well, I, he was giving me his present. Oh, yeah, he can carry it. Well, it went from 50 to 690. I'm like, Jesus. Yeah, mules have definitely a beer. Better get a mule. Yeah, that's what we're interested in. Donkey, page 272. Donkeys can go with up to 690 pounds, two miles per hour, 16 miles in a day, 
that'd be 7,000 gold pieces. Mm-hmm. Okay. The half thing can go two miles in a day. <laughs> hey, that's a good thing about those. You can go the same speed as I have them. Loaded. That's okay. Okay. Yeah, light load for a donkey is 50 pounds. A medium load is 51 to 100 pounds. A heavy load is 101 to 150 pounds. But for a mule, in, in here it says a mule, 231 to 690 pounds, you're going at two mile an hour in the player. And a mule is a large animal. They have a speed of 30 carrying because a light load for a mule is 230. Okay, I'd say get the mule. They're both eight gold. Did you ever buy a donkey? So, for the bus. For donkey medium? Yeah, a mule is a large animal. And a donkey is a. Well, we had. I heard of a group that had a bear in a dungeon. It did fine. (laughs) (laughs) But not a red donkey. All right. Can we scrounge up eight gold? I think I'm up. I got just a little over two left. I can come up with four. Well, I'll give okay. eight never, I'll get two gold then. Um, so that's eight gold. So I mean, we're looking for a. It's gonna run off or die anyway. Henchman <laughs> or a hireling to handle the donkey if if they're interested in going on an adventure with us for the small fee. I mean, yeah, that would have to be paid later type of situation. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on to a donkey while you guys go adventuring. <laughs> Stand out there and grab my ball <laughs> for nothing. <laughs> Later, I might get paid. Now you get there. Why are these other parts out of the treasure? <laughs> There's a whole line of people going, take me. <laughs> yeah, I think we take care of ourselves. A so, wise so druid once told me to have some faith. Okay, I'm looking after the damn thing. <laughs> I have no animal. Yeah. It dragged me all over the countryside. <laughs> you gonna keep crazy? <laughs> There's only four of us. <laughs> We're going in to wrap them out. Nobody's willing to go with us. I don't even to be a caretaker of a mule. They can have a mule. If a 14 year old boy. <laughs> if we see, if we don't come back, they can have the mule. That's where they gold pieces. That's right. That's the year's wages. And if we die and there's treasure on the mule, they can have the treasure. Who are you telling this to? <laughs> Between us. Anybody? We, <laughs> it's the end of it. Before they get back, I want to do a couple things. That was my really? stomach growling. <laughs> you better go get some. I don't, I don't know that it's hungry growling. I think it's mm-hmm. been eating too much shit today. <laughs> growling. <laughs> they can have it. That's so twelve o'clock. So doesn't it go from one to two? It goes from two to three. Oh, mm-hmm. well, we're good then. Yeah. Set your clock ahead. It doesn't matter. It's not going to do it again. <laughs> but yeah, we're we'll buy. We'll. Uh, I got. I put in four. You put in. We put in two each. Mm-hmm. Look at that, I'm a part owner and a mule. <laughs> if you don't get much stuff, you can ride it. If I fell off, it'd kill me. <laughs> no, we have negative, yeah. you have negative constitution. <laughs> Three hit points. <laughs> I thought I fit in with you guys. They're all freaking good. They're all really good. You guys like the I'm not playing a quitter. Well, uh, it's on the adventure right after equipment. Yeah, I'll say one of the one of the low level guards at the guard house would probably be your mule minder for you. Right. Mule Skinner. What are those are? And the song ones. There you go. Here we go. <laughs> you figured that for you, right? If you can carry three bad, dead bodies back to town, we're good. <laughs> yeah, I'm not worried about carrying it. <laughs> yeah, I can't hear yeah, I can't do that. But I'm average strength, or I'm little. 300 pounds. How much is the cart? Or wagon? Or whatever guy, I'm going to give him a. What do I do? If he wants to come on and give him a well, share of the treasure, 10% cut. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You guys realize that's not an equipped mule, well, that's just a mule. A no. bridle or saddle or bags or a mule. 
We need side. Oh, we need grinding bear back. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But we do need side bags. How much are side bags? Pieces. And the, they weigh eight pounds. Car costs 15 gold pieces. <laughs> a wagon costs 35. What's the rental price on that? Yeah, he's not interested in that. Oh, bags, you said were four gold. How many? Four. Four gold. Okay, I got saddle bags. How many? They eight pounds? They weigh eight pounds. Dude, he's got saddle bags. What else do we need on there? A little more cash. Sacks and ropes and stuff. Maybe you could fashion your own. You may have a rope. I don't have a rope. But if we can put your rope on it. must have come in these tools. <laughs> How much is a 50 foot rope? I'm looking. The hemp ropes. I'm thinking rations. Uh, how, what's it take to hunt? What, what's your survival skill to hunt? I can look that up. Dude, a week out there, a week back, we're going to carry that much groceries. What can we, can we what's it take to hunt? You know off the top of your head? It's you one, one gold for a 50 foot rope. What about, uh, how much is a cart? We cart it. <laughs> out of our out of our league. I'd rather really pull a cart than have a meal. Who's pulling the cart? <laughs> well, I can pull the cart, but that's something will stay there. I mean, it won't run off like a pickle. <laughs> it's like, all right, I want to three <laughs> rounds while I hook myself in the cart. <laughs> 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 when you're going to the dungeon, you're going to have to buy a bridle or the, or a, mm, yeah. the harness. Yeah. And then when you get to the dungeon, you just go. <laughs> well, like log it so nobody will take off with it. Like a cart, so I mean, oh. not like a horse cart. Uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, we're going up in the mountains. We're, we're hunting. Have a hand cart? You guys are thinking awful positive. We'll find something to carry back. Well, I need to carry food. <laughs> I'm trying to figure. I do have survival. The cart is 15 gold. I, Two wheel vehicle can be drawn by a single horse or other beast of burden, and comes with a harness. Well, I was thinking like a little hand cart or something. Yeah. Sure, I'm going to have to Google that because I don't know. Yeah, right there. Yeah. DC 10. Yeah. Survival. You want to move up to one and a half year over dad's people on hunting and foraging. No food or water supplies needed. You can provide food and water for one other person for every two points, in which you check result of these 10. The chance of like, we more than one. The characters we me. Yeah, I'm not a great survivor. Well, we need to buy some rations to put on there. What else? Probably good to get them. We'll get ten days rations. Mm-hmm. Five more gold. Like Clary's could create your own food water. Yeah. Not, not a first level. <laughs> <laughs> I think that'd be second level for that. <laughs> Yeah, because there's a big difference between her. <laughs> well, it's like a third level spell, like yeah, it is. All right, I got rations, some rope, maybe on the way home. Ten days rations on the mule, fifty foot rope, saddle bags. We'll give uh, what's the name of our mule tender? Cannon fire. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call him Bob. Back. Hey, no more comment. Did, it, did, I, did I get the hook set properly? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Getting ready to reel him in. Now he's got to figure out how to get this mule down a well. I'm going to have a different group. And I'm going to leave the door open. You go. Oh, miracle. <laughs> Mule dies, he'll bring it. Hey, up. Not alone. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> well, I guess we'll go down the way. <laughs> Morty? No. Oh, you got to go do your thing? Are you. Uh, we go to the other room? Uh, how about if everybody else goes in the other room? Well, I'm, I'm going to look at the light and see what you're talking about. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess we're going back to the tavern, huh? Or the inn. Yeah. Yeah. You get back to the room. It's cleaned up really nicely and everything's been kind of. Cleaned and straightened out, fresh flowers there, fresh water, basins, everything is in ship shape. And you might notice hanging on the wall a dress and a skirt and an apron. Just, just in case I need it later. What what, what are you what are you wearing? Just a robe? Yeah, to me. Is that 
we're going to be maybe a disguise. Yeah, I, I, I heard that just in case. I like so I kind of got in with the wait staff around here. If you guys need anything washed or cleaned or serviced. <laughs> well, the butt crack needs clean and flat needs service. <laughs> I'd be beyond my pay grade. So, what did you guys figure out? We acquired a meal and we're going to a venue, sounds like, tomorrow. And we got a guy I'm not going to stay here. We got a guy, meal tender. So, hey, okay, this is the upstairs of the inn. Okay. Oh, yeah. You guys are down here. Yeah. There's two beds and then bunk beds. So there's four beds in the room. Um, two there's beds. two beds and one, one bed. One bed. Yes. Everybody going to sleep? Yeah, there's something put in front of the door in case somebody well, goes this in. Zoom. We got a. Oops, sorry. <laughs> we can. Uh, yep. There's, there's have access to the. Yep. Couple the, of couple of bathrooms up there. there. At least going to clean up and well, I've been a while since I bathed and had some soap to use. Okay. I'm going to at least clean myself up and then go to bed. Okay. Might be a while. So probably three o'clock in the morning, you hear a, lo a loud ruckus. You can hear people down there screaming. You can sound what sounds like an alarm bell outside going off. I'm going to get up and put on my dress. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get up and put on my dress. 